بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما The next standard will try to understand about something called 811 AC Now again this standard was introduced in 2013 and it is also labeled as Wi-Fi 5 so you can say as fifth generation of Wi-Fi So this this particular standards operates on the frequency range of 5 gigahertz and if you are trying to compare this with the previous standards like the previously we discussed something like 811N now the throughput again the it's it, it's kind of more scalable and provide more throughput when you compare with the previous standards now how it is going to offer the same thing the same it uses something called multiple input multiple output mechanism like using multiple antennas for sending and receiving or we can say sending and receiving more than one data signal simultaneously along with something called frame aggregation concept which i discussed earlier where it can increase the throughput by sending two or more frames in a single transmission so it uses the same uh, methodology or the same mechanisms which which i discussed earlier on 8.11n standard now the difference is it can offer more throughput Uh, typically depending upon the number of antennas it uses like let's say if it is using one antenna on any handheld devices like using your mobile phones or any devices it can offer up to 433 mbps throughput something like around that and if it is using two antenna like typically on your tablet or any laptop devices or any other access point devices i can say so it can offer around 800 or 867 mbps that is a uh, around the throughput and again if it is using three antenna uh, probably three antenna access point or any laptop or the pc it can offer up to around 1.2 gig throughput again now again that will increase as you increase the number of antennas depending upon the access point like if you if you just say let there is an eight uh, eight antenna access point like using in a digital tv or set of box or any access points Uh, to to connect those devices to the access point or or these devices they can go up to 3.3 gig gig again so so technically the throughput exactly depends upon the number of antennas used on that particular product and and the models and there are plenty of other other options it will vary so we can say the throughput can be around anything in between 400 mbps to 3 gig or 3.3 gig that's a uh, something uh, we need to know Now there is one more thing we need to know about the 800.11 AC standard. We have something called Wave One and Wave Two. Now, now the difference is all the products which which are running this 800.11 AC standard, and all the wireless products introduced uh, from 2013, probably they are referred as Wave One. And any wireless products which is using the same 800.11 AC standard. but these products introduced from starting from 800 uh, starting from 2016 so we call them as wave 2 so so wave 2 refers to the products which was introduced after 2016 and they are running 800.11 ac standard in general so the main difference in the wave 2 is again the same thing offers a better throughput when you compare with the wave 1 like in the wave 1 we can get a throughput up to like 3.3 gig something around that that's the maximum throughput we can get but again when you compare that with a wave 2 it can offer uh, something more than that like like with normally it is like 1.3 gig uh, with a single uh, kind of type of antennas kind of thing so the wave 2 can go up to up to 3.3.47 3. again so again the previously when it said 3.3 gigahertz again it totally depends upon the antennas So theoretically, it is more like offering almost like a double uh, throughput when you compare with the Wave One. So, so nowadays, whatever the 8.0.11 AC standards, what you will see, they will be offering, they will be considered as Wave Two. Now, now again, the Wave Two is support is support number of devices like the plenty of devices, whatever introduced, they will be supporting Wave Two from 2016, as I said. so 
so the distance again it will vary the the distance it supports it will vary again so it can be like 70 meters or 35 meters or again 30 30 33 meters so totally depends upon the type of the device and the antenna you are using because most of the high speed devices when they start offering a higher throughput so automatically that will minimize the coverage area or the coverage distance in general so that that will be a little bit uh, kind of uh, we can say a limitation but again the, the best thing about this next standard is they offer a high throughput